Hello, in today's video we'll be replacing a blown headlight bulb on the Subaru Impreza. But while we're at it, we're going to be replacing both of them, so it should be helpful for either bulb. And as you can see, the bulb that we have out is our passenger side. And these are the headlight bulbs that I'll be installing on the Subaru. They come in a two-pack, so we can replace both of them. Let's get started with the passenger side. We'll need to remove this air intake duct, which is held on by two clips. We'll have to remove these clips by popping up the middle piece using a flat blade screwdriver, or you can use your fingers like I am. Once you pop up the middle piece, the entire clip comes out. And now we just pull up and back on the air intake duct and it should come out. Now we can access the bulb, but first we'll have to remove the cover it has on the housing. To remove this cover, all we gotta do is rotate it counterclockwise a little and it'll be able to come off. And just like that, it's off. Now to remove the actual bulb, we do the same thing here. We wanna rotate the bulb counterclockwise about 75 degrees and it'll be able to slide back and off. And now we can access the connector easily. You'll want to press down on this tab as you separate the bulb and the connector. And here you can see that the filament on the old bulb has a section missing, as what usually happens when they go out. And we compare that with our new bulb and we can see that the filament is complete and intact. If you notice that the rubber piece stayed on the housing, you'll want to remove that before installing the new bulb. We're now ready to install the new headlight bulb. Just slide the connector back onto the new bulb, making sure that it clicks in. You'll want to avoid touching the glass portion of the bulb with your fingers or with any oils. The oils can cause the glass to heat unevenly and possibly shatter. You'll want to place the bulb back at about the same angle you removed it. Once you fill the seat, you'll want to rotate it clockwise till it clicks in place. Now for the housing cover. The dimple on the cover lines up with the notch when fully locked in place. So you'll want to place it just a little below and rotate it clockwise to lock it in place. And this is how it should look when it's fully seated. Finally, reinstall the air intake duct plus the clips. You'll want to slide this part of it into the air filter box first, then the rest should line up. Now we can try out the headlight. And there you go, onto the driver's side. This washer fluid piece will be in the way, so you'll want to get a Phillips head screwdriver to rotate the middle part of the clip so that it pops up a little. And with that, you can pull the clip off. And we can now lift off the remainder of the clip. Now just push back on the filler tube so that it gives you enough room to reach the headlight housing cover and the bulb. As before, you'll want to rotate the cover counterclockwise a little till it comes off. We can now rotate the headlight bulb counterclockwise about 75 degrees and slide back on the bulb. And to disconnect the connector, just press down on this tab and separate the bulb from the connection. With the new bulb in hand, just slide in the connector till it clicks in place. Reinstall the new headlight bulb at about the same angle and rotate it clockwise till it clicks in place. Now for the cover. On this one, it has a tab that lines up with the notch on the housing, so you want to place it a little forward and rotate it clockwise till it locks in. Finally, position the fill tube back in place and reinstall the clip. Well, that just about does it. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please click that thumbs up button to support my video and channel, and please subscribe if you haven't done so.